I don't want to wait till July 1st to stop the bleeding. I'm going to start tonight. Tonight, Knoxville City Council approved the use of $1 million out of the budget to help stop a rash of violence in our community. It follows the shooting death of a third teenager last week, and reporter Katie Inman explains how leaders plan to use the money. Motion carries 9-0. Thank you, council members, for your support. Through a Zoom call, the Knoxville City Council met and approved millions of dollars to help stop the violence after three high school students were shot and killed in a matter of three weeks. We need to interrupt and prevent the violence that is happening right now that we talked about at the beginning of this meeting as taking too many lives. Mayor Kincannon proposed a $1 million budget amendment last week. Council approved it unanimously. She says her team has been working on this proposal for months. But because of the nature and urgency of this, I'm bringing it to you now. I don't want to wait till July 1st to stop the bleeding. I'm going to start tonight. The city says the money will be used to build on and fund programs like Save Our Sons and Empower Knox. When done well, community-based strategies can really make a difference. It's also joining forces with the group Cities United to implement a Knoxville-specific plan to get illegal guns off the streets and enrich youth, a plan that's tailor-fit for Knoxville. We've seen programs work, but if they're not continually invested in and they're not connected and, and, and coordinated, it doesn't last for long. Multiple council members admit this money is a good start, but it can't stop here. Knoxville Police Department now has permission to apply for a $1 million grant to help install equipment like cameras, invest in software, and increase patrols, all thanks to council approval. I'm Katie Inman reporting. The city of Knoxville and the group Cities United will come back with a specific plan for using that money at the meeting on March 9th.